The purpose of this event was to commemorate and recognize the struggles that refugees around the world and PNG have gone through to seek a better life. This year's theme was Hope Away From Home. When addressing those who were present, CBC General Secretary Father Jojo gave insights on the work that CBC has done with regards to migrants and refugees. West Papua, the West Papua provinces of, of Indonesia, which are controlled by the government of Indonesia. And uh, we know that in the West Papua provinces, in spite of all the talks, all the reassurances, all the signatures, all the approvals by other countries, neighboring countries, United Nations, and so on. In spite of everything, in West Papua, there is no peace. That's for sure. There is no peace like we had peace in Papua New Guinea. Father Jojo indicated that currently there are 110 million displaced people in the world as a result of conflict. Chanel Taoi, the Protection Officer of UN High Commissioner for Refugees in PNG, provided the statistics of refugees globally and in the country. In our annual report, as has been noted um, by Father Giorgio, what we found is that by the end of 2022, the number of displaced persons, so that's where they're displaced internally or across international borders because of violence or human rights abuses, it's actually hit a record high of 180, sorry, 108.4 million. So that's almost a 20 million increase on the previous year. So these figures are quite staggering. Um, and then by the end of last month, what we also saw is that we've even increased that figure because of the Sudanese refugee crisis, and we have hit 110 million people displaced because of conflicts. And I think to put this number in perspective, what that really means is that one in every 74 people um, on this earth have been displaced because of some form of violence or conflict. So effectively, we probably know someone displaced by conflict or um, they're somewhat one step or two steps removed. The celebration saw traditional dances performed by the West Papua community, concluding with interactive programs. A refugee and displaced person's journey is a very difficult one. This day serves as a reminder to celebrate their strength and courage after being forced to flee their homes. Amanda Elaitia, National MTV News.